all right is that a cause and in this video we'll be looking at the preparation of chlorine gas there are two methods of preparing chlorine gas and both methods have to do with the oxidation of concentrated hydrochloric acid so it's by oxidizing con xcl that you liberate chlorine gas number one method is by adding kmno4 to concentrated hcl that's a form of oxidation in which kmno4 is acting as an oxidizing agent the second method is by eating mno2 with conk hcl in this reaction also is also an oxidation reaction where mno2 is acting as an oxidizing agent the reason we are adding kmno4 here but eating mno2 is because kmno4 is a stronger oxidizing agent than mno2 so if you are using mno2 you need to eat with xcl but if you are using kmno4 no need of it is a very strong oxidizing agent it will easily convert your hcl to chlorine gas all right so so look at this one after the other and the first one is by addition of kmno4 to concentrated hydrochloric acid so when you are doing this experiment this is how you are going to set it up and uh, this is the equation the equation is kmno4 two of it plus 16 hcl giving us 2 mncl2 plus kcl plus water plus chlorine gas actually uh, you need to master this reaction very well where kmno4 is reacting with conk hcl so the product is always mncl2 with kcl with water and the chlorine gas master the reaction and also master the balancing of that equation now after you have mastered the reaction you are going to look at the chemical uh the setup in uh, in the laboratory because you are dealing with aqueous and aqueous uh, uh, like actually the kmno4 should not be aqueous it should be solid solid kmno4 with aqueous hcl so you will need a t2 funnel that will contain the liquid reactant which is hcl in this case then a round bottom flax where you are going to put the solid reactant potassium permanganate or potassium tetrazomanganate 7 in this case all right so when you introduce the hcl into the kmno4 once they touch each other there will be reaction and chlorine gas will be liberated so that chlorine gas will pass through this place as well as films of hydrochloric acid because hcl is a foaming gas it produces a lot of films so as the chlorine gas is coming out from the reaction mixture and trying to pass through the delivery tube films or vapors of hcl films means vapor so vapors of hcl we also follow alongside so to remove the vapor of hcl you dissolve the mixture into water so this water is present to remove hydrochloric acid vapor or hydrochloric acid film film so the water will dissolve all the films but chlorine is only moderately soluble not all the chlorine will dissolve in this water so most of the chlorine will come out of the water and continue the journey into the next delivery tube understand that the first delivery tube is longer because we are using it to deliver gases into the water but the second one here is shorter because we are using it to collect gases away from the bottle 
So when you are delivering a gas into a bottle, you are going to uh, you are going to make that delivery to be long. But when, but, but when taking the uh, gases away from a bottle, it's going to be short. The same way that you are seeing in this place. So after you have collected the you have dissolved the fumes of HCl, the concrete the chlorine gas that is left, we enter through the delivery tube into this bottle containing concentrated H2SO4. So this bottle is meant to serve as a drying agent. So it's going to dry the chlorine gas. Also note that it is longer here because we are introducing the gas into the bottle, whereas here is shorter because we are taking the gas away from that bottle. So that delivery tube must be long. It must enter inside the conch uh, H2SO4 to ensure that any gas that enters this bottle will have contact with conch H2SO4. And that is when we are going to know that, yes, the gas has been dried. So that is why it must be long. But this must be short to make sure that any gas that is coming out from this bottle will find this particular delivery tube and pass through it. And then you collect the gas by downward delivery. So, so this is a downward delivery method uh, or upward displacement of air. So this is a downward delivery of the gas or upward displacement of air. And we are collecting it by that method because chlorine gas is more dense or we like it denser than air. So you collect it by downward delivery. So this is how you are going to prepare chlorine gas in the laboratory by the action of conch HCl on potassium tetrazomanganate 7, that's KMNO4. So learn the preparation set up very well because it's a very important uh, reaction in chemistry. Like I told you before, the gas must be passed through water to remove fumes of hydrogen chloride gas. And the chlorine gas is thereafter passed into concrete just to dry it. The dry gas is collected by downward delivery of the gas or upward displacement of air. So the next method that you can use to produce chlorine gas inside the laboratory is by eating it with conch HCl. The setup is essentially the same thing. The only difference is that the, rea the reactants are now different. So here now, we are using we are using uh, MnO2 as the oxidizing agent. It's a solid compound. That means we are going to be needing a round button flask that contains a T2 funnel, like we're having in this place. All right, with conch HCl. So they will react and give us MnCl2 plus two of water plus a chlorine gas. This reaction requires eating because MnO2 is not a very strong oxidizing agent like KMnO4. All right, so this is the setup. Your Rambotton flax with this two funnel because you are because you are doing a solid liquid reaction. Then don't forget that because you are delivering the liquid here, it must be long. And then we are taking away gas from this tube, so from this flax. So the tube must also be short here. So you collect both the vapor of HCl and chlorine gas away from here and introduce everything into water. Now the water, you know what, uh, what water we do, it will remove the HCl films or the acid films. Now we are left with chlorine gas. So you, so you take the chlorine gas with this delivery tube that is short because you are taking the gas away and introduce it into conch H2SO4 which acts as a drying agent. Then you collect your uh, chlorine gas and deliver it into the gas jar by downward delivery method, or if you like, by upward displacement of air. All right, how do we prepare chlorine gas industrially? Chlorine gas is prepared industrially on a large scale, that means of industrially, by the electrolysis of brine. Brine 
is concentrated sodium chloride. So when you electrolyze brine, chlorine gas will be liberated at the anode. That's the positive electrode. Then hydrogen gas will come out at the other electrode, which is the negative cathode. But we are concerned with chlorine gas. When you electrolyze brine, chlorine gas will be liberated. And then uh, that is how you prepare chlorine gas industrially. So this is a sample of the electrolysis of brine. So introduce your brine into this place and connect the anode and cathode to electric power supply. Then the NACL will split. So chemical reaction will occur and chlorine gas will be liberated as the anode, the positive electrode. So chlorine gas will come out from here. Then hydrogen gas will come out at the cathode. That's a negative electrode. So this is how you prepare chlorine gas industrially. God bless you.